you're a fan of horror movies, you're more than likely seen the film Hereditary. There's a scene in the film where the protagonist's younger sister is decapitated by a phone pole while being rushed home after experiencing a severe allergic reaction. And after some researching, many horror enthusiasts learn the story of Francis Daniel Braun. His death has been touted as being the main source of inspiration behind that particular scene in the film Hereditary. Francis Daniel Brom and his best friend John Hutcherson were leaving Runaround Sue's Bar on August 29, 2004 in Marietta, Georgia. Reportedly, after Francis began feeling unwell, both friends headed out on the 12-mile car ride back home. Unfortunately, John made the irresponsible decision to drive while intoxicated and pay the ultimate price with Francis's life. Sometime between 1 and 2 a.m., Francis began feeling unwell and asked John if they could call it an early night. During the drive back home, unbeknownst to John, Francis stuck his head out of the passenger side window thinking he was going to throw up. According to police reports, the two friends were about half a mile from Runaround Sue's bar when John's pickup truck ran off Canton Road, traveled about 10 feet off the road, and hit the support wire for a telephone pole. The only damage to the car was to the mirror on the passenger side of the vehicle, and it was during that exact moment that Francis was tragically decapitated by the support wire on the phone pole. Still in his intoxicated and disoriented state, John obliviously finished driving to his home with the headless paralyzed body hanging out the passenger side. He got home, parked the car in his driveway, and then promptly went to bed. He more than likely assumed his now deceased friend was passed out and would trail behind him once he sobered up a bit. But later that Sunday morning at around 8 a.m., a neighbor walking with his one-year-old daughter saw Francis's decapitated body leaning out of John's car's passenger window and called the authorities. Police later retrieved the severed head at the accident site near the damaged telephone pole, and John Hutcherson was woken up by authorities and looked remorseful and hung over, dressed in bloody clothing as he was taken into custody. John was eventually charged with first-degree vehicular homicide and driving under the influence of alcohol in the death of his 23-year-old friend. Francis's father said he has no hard feelings or animosity towards Hutcherson or his family. His father says, quote, it's just a bad situation that we have to move on from. Police said John and Francis have been best friends since they both attended Pope High School together and the family requested leniency to be given to John by the judge during his court sentencing. Now, Francis's obituary is available online and is frequently commented on by family members and friends with really kind-hearted messages and memories of Francis. John Hutcherson served three years in prison and was released on November 5, 2008. He went on to have a wife and children but is now divorced with no further information on his whereabouts at this time.